What's up, guys, and uh, welcome back to some more Majora's Mask. In the last part, we uh, say we basically healed Darmani, learned the Gorn Mask. This part, we're going to uh, we got a spring of hot water that I actually cut in between parts, but you do need this spring of hot water. Be very careful with this thing, though, because if you if it if you take too long with this, it'll just become normal water. And also, the Goron Mask. I fucking love the Goron Mask. Like. Yes, it wastes magic, but you can just go, like, area maneuver areas much faster. Even faster than the, uh, even faster than our horse than we had in the beginning. But anyway, so, uh, you basically, uh, you want to do right off the bat is that you want to get rid of that ice thing. Maybe you don't go in it quite yet, because, uh, one thing is, we still haven't checked out one area in, uh, what am I trying to say, in Mountain Village. Except we're going to do one thing. We're going to, uh, to narrow this guy, Messy Tingle. We're going to buy one of his maps. Not a necessity, but it is a necessity for completionism. And first-time players. We don't need the Romani Ranch one because, uh, well, to be fair, we already have the Romani Ranch one, and it's 40 rupees. We, we just began a second map, so we'd be wasting m rupees. But anyway, there's one area of Mountain Village we have not explored yet, and that's Gorn Village. If we have the Gorn to do this, if you, you can go here earlier, but you need to talk to the Gorn above. And there's the Gorn Shrine. Also plays the music from Ocarina of Time, which is sweet. This game definitely reuses a lot of elements from Ocarina of Time, like music and all that. Anyway, so we make sure you talk to the baby before doing the ice thing. Just a little FYI, you're gonna see in a little bit. We don't really have anything else to do here yet, so uh, we're going to, uh, when we're gonna. We're gonna Basically leave and uh the Goron baby is basically saying we need to rescue his father. His father is frozen in the other area. I've made the mistake in many playthroughs to uh tackle the fa the the father before I tackle the baby and I was like, wait, why do I learn the I'm haven't learned the song yet? This is why. But yeah, there's more hot spring water in here, so it's an overall better way to get hot spring water. Now we're gonna find which of these uh little uh, these snowballs have the Goron Elder. Not that one. It's a blue Tectite. Not that one. 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 That one. And we're going to use the, uh, hot spring water. Again, make sure you talk to the Goron Baby before you talk to the Goron Elder. Otherwise, he won't teach you the song. I've made this mistake in many playthroughs. You basically talk to him a second time. He won't say this bit if you don't talk to the baby first. And we learned the lullaby intro. Not exactly the full song, but we do have to talk, we do have to play this to the Goron Baby. 
If you talk to the elder before talking to the grown baby, uh, yeah, he won't teach you the intro. I've made this mistake in many playthroughs. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Anyway, so all we just need, all we really need to do is go back to the Goron Shrine and uh, play this lullaby to the baby. And the baby is gonna, the, lullab the lullaby is basically how you get to the second temple. Except we're not gonna do that quite yet because we are starting to get towards the dawn of the final day. Now we're gonna go back to the Goron Shrine and uh, get out of our ocarina and uh, basically play this song with the kid. Now we gotta play the song. It's a sweet cutscene. Anyway, so I always find it strange how the Gorn Elder only forgot two notes in the lullaby. He's able to remember the intro, but like, I always found that kind of strange. But I always find that little cutscene kind of sweet. And finally puts the baby to sleep. And that Gorn Lullaby, if you try to go to the temple without learning the Gorn Lullaby, the, you'll basically suffer the same fate Armani initially did. You'll get blown off the mountain. Trust me, I did make that mistake the first attempt playing through this. There's another thing we're, we can do here, but we're going to wait till a little bit later when we have a certain mask that's going to make it easier. And we're going to get that mask on the uh, when it gets to the uh, dawn of the, first, the final day. But there is uh, one little thing. There's one thing we're going to do. And uh, yeah, let's just say it's going to involve some cut footage. So yeah, you're not gonna actually see it in the video, but like, um, it's gonna involve some rupee farming. So uh, I figured, like, I figured when I recorded this footage, like, I figured, like, uh, I'd rupee farm, except there's a lot of rupee farming going on. I just kill that bird over and over again. Nothing interesting happening, so I'm just gonna cut the footage in three, two, one. And is it gonna cut? Yeah, that's when it cuts. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I, I decided to grind some rupees. Except it, it was only two hours, so basically, like, um, we're gonna eventually need to, need to, uh, farm some rupees, but we're gonna eventually need to farm some more rupees, but, um, we're doing a lot of rupee farming, because you get 5,000 rupees in the bank, you get a piece of heart, but we're not gonna do that till much later. And we're gonna sort a milk road, and, uh, well, basically, because we don't have much left to do in these, uh, we don't have much left to do, so I figured I'd speed up time a little bit. I don't normally speed up time in a Majora's Mask playthrough, but we're gonna skip to the dawn of the final day. I try to do as much as I can during a set of three days, but we are gonna skip time a bit. Because the dawn of the final day, if we go to Milk Road, that road will be open. Anyway, so uh, let's get out the Goron mask. He plays more music from Ocarina of Time, and this is Romani Ranch. 
I just love I love Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask music so much. It's just like um very iconic for like uh Zelda music and there's also uh there's a Pona, but we can't quite get her yet. I will explain why when we get to what we get to that point. Yeah, we can't quite get that yet. We can't quite get one yet, but there's one thing we can do in the, uh... Remember the Bremen mask we got earlier? There's one thing we can do. We can go to this chick, this cuckoo area. We can only do this on the dawn of the final day. And I think we can only do this in the morning also, but I could be wrong. When we talk to this guy. He basically has one final wish, basically, uh, to get these cuckoos alive, and, uh, that's the Amtian Notebook, but anyway. I do love the music that plays with the Bremen mask, but anyway, so, uh, we, we want to herd these, uh, baby cuckoos. And once we've herded, I think there's ten in total, once you've herded all of them, they turn into adult cuckoos. These are definitely, uh, what am I trying to say? These are definitely good, uh, this is definitely good music right here. It's like, you don't hear very often because, like, this is the only r real use you have of the Bremen mask. A lot of people that play Majora's Mask will just get the Bremen mask, get the bunny hood, and no other masks in the game. But we have, but I would strongly recommend getting all the masks because, like, Getting all the masks also gets you the best ending at the end of the game, so like, let's see, like, anyone I recommend this game to, I basically say get all the masks. I don't know, like, how much, what time here, if you, if I check the notebook, I could find out, but like, um... Let's just say, um, I would have issues if I open the notebook. The, well, well, if I open the notebook, see, I'm recording this to an RGB mod in SD4 through our XRGB mainframe meister, and, like, Majora's Mask changes aspect ratios when you view the Bomber's notebook. My frame meister does not handle the change aspect ratio at all. Every time you look at the notebook, I lose signal, so, yeah, it's a major downside I have in this playthrough. If I, I, maybe, if I had an HDMI mod on 64, it would probably be different. But yeah, I definitely am screwed by my own setup. But yeah, if you're going to get these masks, I would definitely suggest looking at the notebook and getting the Bomber's Notebook. Where's that last cuckoo? I think it's right here. I normally don't have it take this long. It's like... It's really just like I never like this part because like it, it's a long at, it's a long session of just holding the B button. And if you let go of the B button, all these just little cues just run free. I see it in the background because of the Nintendo 64 draw distance. 64 has very bad draw distance. Like it's also a problem not great time. Yeah, look, the cues are growing! Yay! We're filling this man's dream. We're gonna do it right in front of his face then. Anyway, so we're gonna get probably what I think is the most overrated mask in the whole game. The buttons is great for early game, but like, the problem to have is whenever I play through Majora's Mask, it's always a 100% run. And when I do 100% runs, I always get the Goron Mask before the Bunny Hood, so yeah. It's like, after you get the Goron Mask, there isn't really much use for the Bunny Hood, even if the former takes up magic. Anyway, so I'm going to cut it off in this part of Majora's Mask, and we're actually going to reset time. Actually, we're just going to sort a clock down, so I'll see you guys in a second. Later, folks. Bye.